Hello everyone, this is another climbing video. A long wait, but I hope it's worth it. I've spent way too many hours on this map. I'm not gonna have you guys watch the entire video, and the video timestamps are in the intro for if you wanna skip to certain parts. The extended list is in the description. If you wanna watch the whole thing, then I truly appreciate it. In the background we have the A5 bottom climb. Notice that a lot of the climbs in the HD maps are about sheets climbing. Namely, Judas. This tank is just insane for the seats climbing. It has good depression, limited speed, wide tracks, poor traverse, and you have one insane climbing vehicle. Sometimes we combine the speed of both the travel mode with the climbing of the seats mode, like D3 and G5 for example. A5 top is basically the easier and useless version of the bottom climb. Notice how at first the climb doesn't work? But when we turn left, we elevate our backside and the game treats this as, as it being a less steep hill. This effect will get abused, of course. And some climbs are also put in. Just so I can show you guys that yes, I tried, or there's an invisible wall, or I didn't succeed. And this is also the first video in where I show climbs in which I didn't go up all the way but since I've put in a dozen hours then yeah I want to show it off. D3 this is one of those climbs where I can excellently explain to you guys about how I find climbs in general. First I try to just see the slope where it's less steep and then I ask for a little push then I get pushed up and I'm like thank you and as you can see in the seats climbing the the, the Judas can just go up. Just pressing W it's that easy. So, now we know that the second part of the climb is possible. I tried to do it first with the RHM to get it, and the, the Rheinmetall Panzerwagen just to get to this part, and then try to replicate it with the Judas. Well, because the Judas is like terribly slow, this was just a painful experience. It took so many hours just to get this Judas up here. The right angle is needed and everything, but yeah, once you do it, it looks amazing. D3 is back. Even though it's not viable anymore, it's back. D3 upper climb. It can be useful if you know how to do it, but as you can see, the bouncing left and right against the rocks is just very unpredictable. And since the fast way is possible, I decided to try it with the slow way, or with the slower tank. And it's the Judas. The same principle applies here. You elevate your backside by turning up onto rocks, which makes it like a less steep hill to climb. And then suddenly the tank wants to go forwards. The thing is that you don't want to have your engine stall or anything. And you do that by tilting your tank left and right or uh, up and down and it's very funny to see uh, when it works it works but nobody knows really why physics you know the world of tanks physics ND4 is one of those things there you look at the slope and you're like I have enough speed to do that let's, let's just go up yeah Let's do it. And D5. Yeah. This is the first of those climbs that is really finicky when it comes to physics. First to get to this part required a lot of suicides. Like, oh man, it took so many attempts just to get to this part. And then when you finally get here, you don't know if it's possible or not. And the slope just seems just a little too steep and that's so sad after all of wiggling and trying i just skipped that part because this video is <laughs> already way too long i just skipped the part where i thought like ah you don't need that and here the same thing we use to get up just a little bit higher we turned right which made our uterus go less well, what do you say that less of an angle and you can slow you can see that we slowly go up So I cut into the time and you can see how long it takes and that we're go slowly going up. <laughs> I 
Yes, this is working as intended. And then suddenly... <laughs> we made it. Wow, what a climb. What a man. What a mad lad. Back on D5. HD climbing is dead, they say. But it's not. East Hill took a lot of attempts and a lot of hours. Basically the same principle with the A5 and the D5. The second part of this climb requires you to push your backside up against the rocks to your left. Let's see if we can see that. Then we go to the second part, and this is the start of the second part. And this is where it gets finicky. So we go right, our backside goes up, and we go forward. But um, if you wouldn't act on it, like if you just did nothing and just hold forward, then you would slide down again, because the game was like, oh, that's too steep. And how to prevent that is to put your backside up again by turning right. So you're basically alternating turning and not turning to go up forward up and forward up and forward until you go up all the way then you reverse to this part and this is where the fun starts <coughs> it's uh, five minutes of yeah just holding holding w basically after a while it just stops you can't move any higher so what i wanted to do is have some friends over and they would push me up to see if that that judas behind me would get me enough what do you say, altitude to go up all the way and yeah, just to, to make sure this is possible or not and requires some, uh, yeah creative climbing <laughs> and for some reason the models here, they touch even though it's not even close like what the, what's this this is not even touching while gaming and then I drop down, I'm like, no so we skip to that part where I'm, I've hold W for like a minute again. And then, yeah, of course you want to push in a straight line. If your line is crooked, then it's not going to work, obviously. So I turn left, he turns right, and let's see if it works. Yeah, slowly getting into position. The moment of truth. Here we go. Nice. As soon as the models touched, I lost traction and everything went to shit. Thanks. E4 back door. Oh god. <sighs> Little did I know that this is literally the hardest climb in the game. Even this first part can get you stuck for over an hour. As you can see, we lose the, the, the height and... Oh man. The Udus is like pretty wide. But this climb requires you to be super precise. Like, this is not even pixel work. This is less than a pixel work, and, and the angle needed is so precise. But once you get it, it, it just feels like weird because you're just going up. And that, that shouldn't be possible, right? But here, I'm just removing the tree. Because sometimes when you bump into the tree, you just knock it down. But the tree gives enough force that, you, that it pushes you back. And I'm getting close and close, and I'm just showing this so you can see this how ridiculously hard this is. It took so many hours and so many attempts. And, well, the bad thing is... I, 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 was, I was up, but that was like the second attempt. And that was within five minutes. And then trying to replicate that second attempt, and when that doesn't work, oh man. Keyboards flying through the room, computer smashed. No, I'm kidding, but oh, that's so frustrating. And here, we're going up really slowly. Going up all the way, and I've, and I've done this a couple times, so I know where to go and where not to go. Going all the way left. This is basically the only route you can take to go up. Knocking down the tree again. Just making sure that it doesn't bump into me. I will skip because ugh, movement issues. And now we're up this part. Now, 
the next obstacle. This was one that was really annoying for like a half an hour when I didn't know what to do once I got here. Because if you go too much far to the right, you slide down and you slide down all the way. I wanted to stay left as much as possible, like the higher altitudes. But it didn't seem to work very well. And after doing this for a long time, I've noticed that there are multiple ways of going up. You can go up following the right side and following the left side. I'm not sure which one I show in the video, maybe I'll both, but um, here you can see that like this, the, the tiniest of movements, even in seats mode, makes you slide down all the way or even a little. And here I think I was lucky that I didn't slide all the way and then you lose your traction and oh my god. You're like, is this even possible? skip and uh, here we see the right side following the right side and oh, when I thought I almost had it and then it was like nope let's start at, at the beginning again well then we skip to another part <laughs> and we try the same thing again notice that the Judas will fall down once it loses the, the the height of the right side of his tracks when he's when he goes down So now I've made it to the right side, basically, now, nope. Oh, wow, that was pretty lucky, dude. Okay, now we need to turn left, but alas, oh man. <laughs> right side is possible, but it needs a different angle. And now we're stuck there. Well, not stuck, but you have to slide down, else you won't make it. And you have to do it all over again. Alright, let's continue. Now we're going up the left side, since we know that the right side can be possible. And I know I've done it. The right side is possible. You can, you just need to be a little bit higher and turn left. And this is the left side, which is also good. I think it's safer because once you drop down, you don't drop all the way. And if you fail the right side, you lose all the altitude. And the big nemesis of today, stairs. It's like Borderlands with the claptrap getting stuck on stairs. stairs? No! No! You can get up higher by just moving right and forwards and left and go up all the way except the last stair step. Like, oh, the last one is the one that blocks you. If Wargaming can remove that one, it is just this it would be possible from this side. But no, unfortunately. How hard you try, how many hours you waste, if someone could do this, it would be pretty fun. Like, I would have so much mad respect if you could show me the replay. But the last, the last step would would just block me. And you're like, oh well, you're not at the last there. But yeah, <laughs> turn too much left, and this is what happened. No, dropping down. No, no, no. Oh, no. Ah, man. Oh, sorry, dude. Here's E3, and E3 required a little push, but it also required proper movement. As you can see, I went too far to the left, made too much of an angle, and then the Udus just falls down. But with new knowledge, I now know, just hold W. <laughs> well, that was pretty easy. And this was a nice find, because this climb with a little push meant that we can go back to the stairs without doing all that previous stuff even though the previous stuff is also lowable it takes way too much time to go through all that trouble Blech. it just pains me to see that again Blech. so you can see the stairs you're back if you want to attempt e3 or e4 backdoor be my guest and this is the way to do it e4 um, I'm not sure who showed this to me. Well, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for showing this climb to me. That first part, or that second part actually, that's really finicky. You'll slide down almost all of the time. And physics will make you stick and sometimes go around the corner. 
I don't know what's the, the issue there, but... Bleh. And this last part is a little bit finicky. What I used to do is uh, just go backwards, slam into the rock a bit, go forwards, and... Uh, wow. Shouldn't be that hard, except if you don't turn <laughs> uh, on the spot. Just turn on the spot once you're up on this uh, little rock. And here you see that I'm turning on the spot, and then it goes fine. With climbing, a mistake is in a really small corner. You easily overturn, you're easily just making the wrong turn, losing altitude for no reason apparently. It, it, it just requires really, really precise movement. And the only reason I'm going up is because I've done this a lot of times. And I've spent a lot of times climbing, just knowing what is steep and what's not. I want to show you guys something with E4. So, once you're doing this, you'll usually fall down, as I'm gonna demonstrate. You'll always make it and then... Nope. Here's the alternative climb. This was once I got the Judas, I was like, yeah, just go seeds climbing, you know? And then I saw this slope and I was like, I can, I can probably make this. Yeah, th this should be possible. So I'm going up and up. And it worked, and I'm like, okay, well that's easy. Since we went with the RHM to the, along the right side, let's go to the left side along this, what, Pantheon. I had no clue if this was possible, but yeah, just uh, slow and easy. Slowly making our way. Downtown, fast. And this is the cool thing about the seeds climbing, it just feels like you can go anywhere. And it basically is true. Tanks that are virtually flat can make it all the way up the bumpiest of hills. And here I noticed that you can't really make it, so you have to go back to travel mode because the tank digs into the ground. I would say that's pretty realistic, right? I think that's pretty cool. We use the travel mode, stick to the rocks, that's really, really important, and stick to the wall to the right. You want to stay as close to the wall as possible. If you go any further from the wall, you'll slide down to the left, and then you basically have to start all over again because you can't go back. And here we're just wiggling left and right, hoping to get on this rock. Just I see it. from the front side there's a little rock and that's where we get our traction and for some reason I just got it after so many attempts it just worked for no reason seemingly no reason I guess but it worked I stayed to the right side of the wall and then the Judas got up oh boy E8 we're getting a little push from the T95 because the first part didn't really work when I was going like 60 kilometers an hour full speed into the rocks I just couldn't get far enough and I decided to just get some help from the T95, the, the T554 or 55A or whatever it is. He's pushing the T95, but of course that, that's not really helping much, or if anything. <laughs> so, getting a little push. And now we're up. And the fun starts here. Well, I didn't think it was possible, so I had to record that from a replay. And this is where I started my recording. I was like, oh, whoa, 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 it actually works. Well, now it's time to figure out how to go up. And I wouldn't be posting this if I didn't get up any higher, right? So I'm trying right side, left side, and failing a bunch. So I skip a little bit. <laughs> and the same principle with the D5 and the, and the D3, or whatever it is, the, the, the East Hill. When you go up, pixel by pixel, just keep going up pixel by pixel and then suddenly you have traction because the angle is less steep or the, the slope is less steep. Pretty fun. And now it's trying to find uh, the, the route through the mountains, so to say, make your own road. But with the Judas it's really unpredictable where you can climb because I didn't even think that that rock in front of me was able to be climbable. But it was, and that's the fun thing. That it's so easy to go anywhere. 
bushes are pretty much the enemy of climbing in a way that they're blocking vision and blocking vision means that you can't see the angle or the slopes that's really problematic with climbing because it makes you go down or go up with the slope and not seeing it makes it pretty hard well I'm wiggling and trying to figure out what to, what to do and this, this felt too steep and I was like is, is this going to be the end is this oh my god no So I figured maybe travel mode is the is the way to go. Like this thing is so versatile and oh my god it is. Travel mode was the outcome. What a hero. Oh Judas. And here I've noticed that there's rocks in the way, so we go back through siege mode. Aim down so you get your backside out. And then we win. Superman! 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 <laughs> oh, hi. Okay, let's go up, boys. This can't be the end. We've gained so much. We've gone so far. Knocking down the tree because Greenpeace. Fuck you. Wow, and it actually works. It actually works. Holy crap. E8, boys. With a little push, but we managed to go up. HD climbing is dead. Speaking about dead climbing, we have F1. F1 is one of those that's really steep. Like, like really steep. Like, barely able to be climbable steep. But not only that, but there's also a thing called a wall. And that's the, that's the sad thing. I want to show you guys that you no. Know, even though I tried, and I really loved the one-line climb on the previous map, and I thought that one was really sick and awesome. And this one is just sad and pathetic, and no, it's like it's a retarded cousin. Feels bad, man. Here we have F2, and F2 is one that can use a little bit of speed. I've seen a lot of tanks doing this. Of course, the mighty strong Russia tank can also make it. The KV4 Kreslavsky. What a meme tank. Once I found out how powerful seeds climbing was, and once I got a little bit used to it, I was trying to go up all over the place. And this is one of those climbs where you think, what? How do you... No, what? No. But, yeah. Seeds climbing is something that's really powerful. This could be useful in randoms or climbers or whatever. I haven't tried it in a 103B yet, but hey, if you can make this, then sure, dude. Trying to get the jump on the enemy is one of the best things you can do. Going up all the way was a little bit tricky, but it's you can you can certainly practice this and go up with a reasonable pace. Knowing where to go and where not to go really helps with the with the climbing speed. Just like this one, where you think, okay, I'll use the speed and then don't turn left too much, but yeah. it's uh, one of those things that you wanna. Nail. It's the, it's the last part because you've almost made it, and then you're like, uh, dude, hello, hello, can I make it? No. I hope you can see that we've now elevated our backside and found a different angle, which make, makes us go up, and that's certainly a nice thing. Hi guys. We have G5, a combination of travel mode and siege mode. Finicky, 
super meme but it works and this very approach is the only one I've managed to make work and switching to seats mode at the right spot or sliding down is so painful and then once I got here I didn't know it was possible but I figured hey dude of course it is it doesn't look that steep compared to like the East Hill or or E4 back door and like ah, we can do this same principles again we push our backside a little bit up we decrease the angle of our Judas with the slope um, wow some shadows are really finicky here now, now that I look at the recording <laughs> and we're going up just excellent work what a tank what a meme HD climbing is dead boys, HD climbing is dead. J1, because there's a lot of people that ask for this one. And they're like, do you know if it's possible to go up? You wanna see, I did. Yeah, dude, let me just, let me just try. Let me just try and show you, or if it's possible, I'll go up. But, 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 there's an invisible wall. We don't know where, but, yeah somewhere along the lines of fuck you it's safe to assume that the entire one line is not um, is not as accessible as it used to be we can try that again Just sliding down. The, these rocks are slippery. They might be the same rocks, but they're positioned in such a way that it's really slippery, and that's not fun. That's not fun at all. And once we got to this place, yeah. Fuck it. Cave Vive is also extremely hard because it requires a, a precise angle, very much so as, as the E4 one. The back door with the Judas, it's just oh my god, so frustrating to make it and failing it at the last second. This this one re required a lot of time, but mostly a lot of patience. Because going up the first attempt and then not getting it for the next what half an hour, that's so frustrating. <sighs> Sliding down all the way, so I decided to skip a bit. And you need this particular angle, turn right at the right angle and not too far because you're gonna slide down at the last part as you can see we're sliding down here and that's the part where you just if you're too much to the left even by a track width that makes it makes you go down all the way skipping a lot of the, of the bunch of the, the bullshit and we're trying to go up even further it works K5 seems to be possible. Only this last obstacle. As, as we can see, there's, there's the, uh, the, the, the angles, the slopes to the left and to the right that seem accessible. But after a lot of attempts, after so many tries, just working my way up and seeing where I can go, but oh, every time I get pushed down, Sliding down, not having traction, not finding the right angles with the Judas. Ugh. So painful. Not fun. So, this is where we end. K5. Didn't seem to be able to go up. Hopefully someone can try it for me. <laughs> I'm done with this. Here we see the K5 up climb. This is more than a meme than anything. Just, yeah. I've decided to show it, because why the hell not? Since I've shown almost every other climb on this map, just to try to cover everything, like I would do with Abby, but then breaking it up into videos, and I wanted to just make one big video with everything in it. K5 up, and we're basically at the edge of the map, so we can't go any higher, but we can go down. We've noticed that there's a little cave, so to say, at the bottom of this cliff. So we skip a little bit forward once I got enough. Yeah, what do you say? Cojones! To see what's 
further along the edge of the map. Oh, almost. Oh yeah, sure, you fixed the track. Yeah, nice. Here we have North Hill. This one. It would be so cool. The old North Hill was pretty awesome. Like, hard, but awesome, man. Oh man, how much would I give just to get that one climb back? That would be insane. North Hill requires Seeds Mode because this part is only able to get done with a Seeds Mode tank. Or you need a lot of pushes. Like a lot of pushes. But since I wanted to do most of it solo, I decided to just grab the Judas. So getting past that rock might have looked easy, but if you try it yourself, you're gonna fail a lot of times. And you're gonna wonder, how the f the p what? How did he do it? Doesn't make any sense. But yeah, the, that's where the precise movement and angles and slopes and position come from. The last part on the North Hill is this one. And it's just too steep for one Judas. Like it was almost manageable to be done solo. And now we're pushing. But we've learned and we're pushing with our backside now. Might have not been the greatest push of all times, but come on, we just need a little one. Just a little push to get past that first very steep angle. And there we go. North Hill. It's alive, but yeah, it needed some reanimation. Oh, I've only now noticed that I didn't even record at the keyboard. Ah, that, that's not that important. It was just W, dude. I just press W. The one that's still viable in randoms, that's actually really good to do. The one climb, which I'm like, yes, this is easy, this is doable, and this is good. Might look a little bit uh, derpy, but it works, dude. It's, it's such a cool climb. The one climb which I would be like, yeah, you can, you can try and learn this one by heart. M master this one and uh, see how you fare, how fast you can go up. Boy, what a sexy climb. What a sexy, sexy climb. We saved the uh, best for last. I want to thank Reinvold for his video about the water island. It was such an enjoyable watch. And of course, I want people to, sh to see this one too. This is just incredible. We're going submarine mode for not once, but we are on submarine mode twice in a row. And if you go underwater with the free camera mod in the replay, then you can see the, the slope where we're driving on. And it feels like an underwater path that has been created. Just so you are able to reach this. Ah, oh, that was pretty close. And be careful to not get stuck here. If you are moving the same way I'm doing, <laughs> and turn left, then that means you're stuck right around here. If you manage to get yourself in between the wedge to my right, yeah, then it's all over for you. So you gotta avoid that by doing this. Ooh, oh, this oh, that was so close to being stuck. If I didn't turn left and, like, as you can see, almost fail it, then I would have been stuck. A little bit tricky, but yeah, movement, please. So now it seems like I failed it, right? Perseverance is key here. Oh wow, the reverse speed of the Ramadal is just enough to get past that little part. Once you screw a little bit up, and there you go. So there's. A couple difficulties going up here. First part is just dropping down without losing HP. The second part is the first time going on the water, following the path, uh, sticking to the rock, don't turn right too fast or too late. 
make sure you make it and then the second part you want to steer in between the two rocks once you're on the water and, and try not to get stuck <laughs> and then you're up here what a view and I thought this would be nice to have as a as a last climb just to, to end the, the episode Is this viable for Clan Wars? I don't know. It's a pretty campy, campy spot. But I sure would like to thank everybody for watching. And I hope you had fun. And that you can see how broken Cliff still is. Even though they said HD climbing would be dead or ha ah, fuck you. Everything will be removed. Well, before I, <laughs> before the climbs are patched, make sure to do some of these guys, because wargaming has been really anti-climbing as of late. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day, guys.